little bit, I want to say a few words about my work because it's it's few of you approached me, and I think it's it's good that you will understand what's going on here because it looks like pss, splitting of of colors and and and, and traveling of of emotions here. Um, I don't know if you people read the little thing I put on the wall that I wrote, but all what you see is dealing with creation of the world. I'm dealing with the moment before the light and moment after the light. All what you see in here is dealing with the moment, the zero, the, the, the nothingness. So it's dealing with, when you see the strong colors of my paintings, with the black and the white, we're in the void, we're in the tova vo, we're in the chaos. Nothing is there, but the potential is there. So everything is in here, in there, in that state. And that's why we call it bohu. In Hebrew, bohu, it means in it. Bohu, everything is in it. And then when you see the paintings with the full spectrum of the color, we are in the moment after. So color has been revealed, color has been represented. And I bring it out very bold through the primary color. So you're going to find the red, green, yellow, and, and blue the colors. Um, why the letters coming in is because we're learning that in order to create the world, God formed the world with the 22 Hebrew letters. So in the moment of the beginning, when we see the colors start to form, this is where we're going to find the 22 letters, and then everything is forming, everything is coming in. So I'm approaching this amazing, beautiful um, abstract theme of creation through philosophical point, from scientific point, Kabbalistic, Talmudic, Biblical, whatever I find that can give me something interesting in it, and I study a lot before I'm creating a painting, so I'm learning my materials and then I bring it out. I'm painting creation of the world for the last seven years, so it's you're probably going to say it's crazy. I mean, for seven years, creation, seven years, I'm painting the same thing, Bereshit, Baidokim, Et HaShamayim, Et HaAretz. But this is why I'm creating it, because we learn, and this is a beautiful thing, our sages said that in order to create, I mean, sorry, if we want to write about Bereshit, if we want just to write about the word Bereshit, we need to cut all the trees of the world in order to create pens and papers and we don't have enough trees. And that's only about Bereshit. So the same thing for me, I create about Bereshit for seven years and I think I didn't start yet. I mean, there is so much, so much to do. And why I do that is, <clears throat> why I feel that it's so interesting and why I filled up again and again with it, and and you can see for yourself, I mean, I don't create the same piece. I mean, every piece is different. It looks like five, four different artists making it. It's because really um, we have, we sang in our prayers, that bless him, that he create, in every moment, he create Maaseh Bereshit. It's the act of creation. So in every moment in us, in every breath, every time we, we, we having Neshima, Neshama putting in, we create, he created in us. So the same in thing, this is what's happening in my creation. Every morning that I wake up, I'm getting up and I'm thanking for waking up and in order the gift to create. And that's and that's what you see in here. So I hope you enjoy it. And if any questions, it, let me know. Yes. Uh, isn't every piece a beginning? Every piece is beginning from a different from the before beginning, what we call it, I call it day zero or moment zero, there's no time relates to it. So if we are in no time, we cannot really relate to what, what it is, but that's there, it's because it's described. We're saying, and we are, we're getting, we, we specified what's, what's happening there, but we don't really know, it's a ab very abstract thing. And then we have the moment after, so, in that, that spectrum of, of, of nothingness, this is where I'm dealing. And you don't know what it's going to look like when it's going to be finished? I don't... I have a statement there that says, very metaphorically, because people are telling me, are you really? So, very metaphorically, I, I write down, I said that I paint with my eyes closed. And really, very much, it's what it means is that 
I don't see what I paint, and I don't plan it, but I feel it. I know exactly which material will be on my table, which is very hard because I'm using obviously what you see. All what you see, 99% of what you see is building material. All the paintings done with roofing tar, polyurethane, um, resin, enamel paint, oil paint, wood floor paint, plywoods, metals, it's all Home Depot. So, and that's also part of the series because he creates and builds and I feel that through my art I continue the building of the wall. So this is part of what, what you see. So I don't see, but I feel. I know exactly what's going to be there, what is the state. Am I going with the black and white on this piece? What lettering I'm putting in? What script is related? If I read something and I put a chapter in my mind, I'm coming and I feel what I want to put in. But I don't see a visual ending piece. It's boring. Mm. Very good. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.